Welcome to Nerd Crave Unplugged. That's right. No editing, no cuts, no extra footage. Guess what? My editing software is down. I put it out on Twitter. Uh, I've actually got some kind of hardware issue, I guess, with my computer or something. Uh, I can't run. Uh, I'm actually getting the same problem in two different editing softwares. Uh, I, so I've got a computer tech coming to have a look at it this evening, but I wanted to get a little something up anyway. So let's try this unplugged format and see how many times I screw up, all right? So here's today's topic. 10 VHS tapes, or 10 movies, rather, that I absolutely have to watch on VHS. Now, a lot of you know I'm a big VHS collector. There's something absolutely wonderful about the clicks and the whirs and the fast forwarding and rewinding and the trailers before the movie. And there's just something so fantastic about the experience of sitting down in front of a CRT tube TV and playing a VHS tape on a VCR today in 2021. Going back to that is just so nostalgic. Sure, I have better ways of watching these movies or at least, you know, higher resolution ways, more convenient ways digitally on you know, Netflix and various things like that. But there's something to be said for that experience of doing it the way we did 25 years ago. So here are 10 movies that I absolutely must watch on VHS. Uh, normally I'd say, let's get into it, and then I'd flash a graphic. Do do do! Alright, so movie number one. The Rocketeer. <laughs> this movie is so nostalgic for me. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. Uh, I collect all kinds of comics. There was quite a few, uh, actually not that many, but there were a few comics that were made on this concept as well, and I've got all of those. Uh, the Rocketeer is just such a cool, uh, you know, superhero sort of story. If you haven't seen it, look it up any way you possibly can. But I remember back in the early to mid-90s when this came out, being 13, 14 years old and seeing this movie for the first time on VHS, and I just don't want to watch it any other way. Movie number two, it's actually two movies, but I'm going to count it as one, and that's Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Uh, there's <laughs> something to be said about the special effects in these movies. They still hold up pretty well today, uh, even on, you know, modern HD TVs and things like that. But they look so much better on VHS on a tube TV. The whole experience just, uh, you know, yes, it's probably 75% nostalgia for me. But I just absolutely love either one of these movies, uh, you know, in their original form. Bowl of popcorn, just sit right down. Can't be beat. Ghostbusters, fantastic movies. If you haven't seen them, for the love of God, where have you been for the last 30 years? Uh, moving on here to another movie that absolutely, and this is from my childhood, and I'm sure a lot of you would agree that The Lion King is an absolutely fantastic movie. Uh, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, uh, The Lion King is just one of the best movies that Disney ever made. Now, the argument could be made for that whole Renaissance period with The Little Mermaid and Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast, but I chose The Lion King as the movie that I am most a snap. I should have brought a drink. I choose The Lion King as the movie that I am most nostalgic for to watch on VHS. In fact, I just watched it here in the studio on my tube TV over there uh, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, I watched this movie probably at least a couple times a year. It's just classic. Hello, Sakura. I have my mom's puppy here right now. She's wandering around in the studio. I'm hoping she doesn't knock anything over. Uh, the magic of editing would have got rid of that interruption. But hey, here we are, right? So moving on to the next movie, and that is Spaceballs. Uh, just absolutely classic Mel Brooks movie. Ridiculous, stupid comedy parody of, of Star Wars. Uh, again, if you haven't seen this, and I wouldn't blame you if you're from the younger generation, this is an older movie, but uh, <laughs> Mel Brooks stuff is just absolutely fantastic. I love all of his movies, and this one is no exception. It's hilarious. Uh, it's just, it stands the test of time as a classic, classic movie. And again, VHS is just a perfect format for this. It just takes you back to those days. <clears throat> Another movie that takes me back is Romancing the Stone. Now, 
uh, the jury's out on whether this is kind of an Indiana Jones sort of a knockoff. I mean, it's an adventure movie. Uh, there are other adventure movies from the time, like King Solomon's Mines and stuff, which I absolutely love as well. But I go back and watch Romancing the Stone at least once a year, if not more. And I do have a digital version of it as well, which I watch sometimes. But nothing can beat just the, the, the experience of popping this in the machine and seeing the trailers from the, you know, from the time period and stuff. It's just a wonderful experience. What else have we got here? Okay, another that I've kind of slipped in, actually three movies as one choice, but they all kind of work together. And that is the original CBS Fox Star Wars trilogy. Now, the reason why, particularly, that I choose to watch these on VHS, because, yes, Star Wars is a special effects movie, and you really want to see it in the best way possible with the most HD, whatever. However, George Lucas went back in the 90s, uh, just before he made the prequels, and changed a whole lot of the special effects and things like that in these movies and kind of tried to update them, but it really didn't turn out all that well. And these are one of the only legit ways that you can now see the original movies because everything else released after that point had the, uh, the remasters or the edits in them. So this is one of the only legit ways that you can watch the movies as they were originally intended in 1977, uh, 1970. 80 and 1983 or whatever it was when the last one came out so this is the definitive way to watch these movies as far as i'm concerned and uh, i'll never back down from that there are some pirated uh you know demastered versions floating around on torrent sites and things like that that are in a higher resolution but as far as a legitimate means to watch these movies that is it moving on to the last couple of movies here well i got one two three four okay rocky horror picture show <laughs> towards the end of the year the weather starts getting cold halloween time absolutely have to watch this movie every year absolute classic now i don't really you know, dress up to sit here and watch it by myself, but man, would I love to see a film print of this in a theater, dress up, uh, you know, the whole nine yards, just that experience is such a, a cult movie, such a fantastic movie, and uh, I just absolutely love to watch this on VHS. There's something about the film green, uh, you know, the dirty sort of look of VHS that that complements a movie like this, really, and uh, you just can't go wrong. I think this is definitely the best way to view this movie. All right, personal favorite of mine, and I watch this movie probably every three or four months on VHS, and that is Hackers. This movie was super influential to me. Uh, in the late 90s when it came out, I was, you know, just absolutely in love with Angelina Jolie's character, uh, I just absolutely loved this movie. I was super interested in the concept of hacking and stuff. I never obviously got into it because, you know, skills, right? Don't have any. But uh, absolutely loved this movie and everything that it represented for 90s culture. And I simply cannot watch this movie any other way than the tried and true VHS tape. It just feels right. Last couple movies here. Uh, Starman. I first saw this movie on VHS in the early 80s at a friend's house. It was one of the first science fiction movies that I ever really saw. And I was absolutely blown away with this movie when I was like, I don't know, seven or eight years old. And, uh, you know, it took me quite a while to actually find this copy. It's not a real popular movie, but Starman is the story of an alien that comes to Earth and kind of takes human form and they go on some kind of adventure and the woman falls in love with him. And it's really cute, like family level movie. Um, you know, it just Jeff Bridges, classic. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't in any format. It's a fantastic movie, but if you find this on VHS, don't turn it down. Fantastic movie, great way to watch it. And finally, another late 90s movie, and this is kind of the peak VHS era when they were just going like crazy. Uh, I think I bought this at Blockbuster back in the day. That is Contact with Jodie Foster. Uh, fantastic movie, fantastic sci-fi um, there's one other movie that's kind of came out around the same time, which I don't have a copy of handy. I couldn't find it, or I would have included it, and that is Twister. 
Uh, absolutely love that. Hello, Sakura. Absolutely love that movie as well. But uh, guys, that's my 10 movies that I absolutely recommend watching on VHS, whether it's your first time or whether you're watching it over and over and over again. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for subscribing. Stay classy. And now I have to turn off the camera.